Uh, we'll call the uh, October meeting of the French Creek Cog to order. First up on the agenda is public comment. Do we have any public comment today? Oh, all right, administrative matter. Uh, motion to approve the minutes from July 18th, 2024. It's in your packet. A motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? A second. Okay. Second. Any more discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, your treasurer report, it's in your packet. I'll take a motion to approve the treasurer's report. Motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any more discussion on the treasurer's report? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, the 2025 budget, it's in your packet. You guys should have all look that over. Um, so we'll take a motion to approve the 2025 budget. Motion. We have a motion. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, the 2025 meeting schedule, it's in your packet. Uh, same thing as previous years, you know, quarterly meetings unless otherwise needed. So uh, we'll take a motion to approve the 2025 meeting schedule. Motion. We got a motion. Do we have a second? Second. So a second. Any more discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, motion carries. Um, we have, let's see, authorization for the administrative secretary to send delegate selection letters in December. So we'll take a motion on that. A motion. A motion. Do we have a second? Second. 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 Any more discussion on that? Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, so that's the administrative stuff. Now we're on to the uh, County Fire Commission update and the Firefighter tax refund with orbit samples. I don't see Eric here, so I'll start with the uh, talking about the tax refund ordinance. If anybody has any questions, I'll kind of give an update of what Vernon Township did, what the county is looking to do, and where the fire commission um, comes into play with that. And then I see Mr. Pratt out there. If he has anything to add about the county fire commission, you, can, you know, tag in whatever. Um, but let's see, the uh, Vernon Township did the municipal tax relief refund it. And at this point, you know, we've given out all the refunds. We had a total of, let's see, out of the 33 members on their active roster at Vernon Central, um, 15 members qualified for it. Nine of those members actually owned property in the township um, with their two sets of husband and wives on there. It was a total of seven people that were eligible. There are seven eligible parcels for the rebate worked out to be $436.36 total. Um, so it wasn't very expensive for the township to do this. Um, it seemed to work well internally between the secretary, myself, the tax collector, the fire chief. You know, it was pretty smooth to get it all taken care of. Um, the county is looking at passing um, a similar ordinance or resolution that will um, Essentially, at the fire commission's last meeting, they set the criteria to pretty much mimic the, uh, to set a minimum standard, which was uh, based off of the resolution that uh, Vernon Township's done. So it works out to be about 10%, you'd have to run 10% of the calls, meet minimum training levels, um, and have participated in additional training hours throughout the year. And it looks like the county is going to be, and they haven't officially said anything, but it looks like it's gonna be the neighborhood of uh, $500 or um, their total for the parcel, depending what's the least amount, correct? Right, uh, yeah, that's what Chris had said, uh, $500 per household or up to 100% of a property's county property tax liability, whichever is low. <laughs> so, and I think the big key that the county is looking to do is for, you know, a person to be eligible that person's home municipality would have to adopt the relief also. So <coughs> if it were to pass now, you know, with, if the county does this now, you know, everybody that belongs to Vernon Central would qualify because Vernon Township has this ordinance in place. But for example, you know, if you fall into your client lake and you know Client Lake Borough hasn't passed anything, they're not going to be eligible 
because the county is kind of pushing all the requirements onto the local municipality as far as tracking and doing the paperwork and stuff to do that. All the person will do is they would take pretty much the receipt and their certificate saying that they met the qualifications to the county and the county would issue them the check. So all the kind of check, the checks and balances will fall back to the municipality. So that pretty much sums up the tax um, relief, unless anybody has any questions on that. What percentage did Vernon do? So we didn't do a percentage, we did 50 calls which worked out to be about 12% of our calls. So just the commission, we kind of dropped it down to 10%, um, so. And what about what they get back on the taxes? How much of the tax? Oh, 100%. 100%? Yeah, we gave back 100%. Okay. And your millage is? Two mills. Two mills. Well, yeah. How did you reconcile, I mean, we talked one time before about if you have someone that live maybe in Union Township, but they're running with Vernon Central. How did you reconcile that? So at this point, we haven't done anything. Um, I will say, you know, the township is open to talking to the neighboring municipalities because we, I know that there are several volunteers for, you know, Greenwood Township or Pontiac Lake, maybe even Summit that live in Vernon that don't really qualify. If, you know, another municipality, say, for example, Summit Township, if Summit Township passed this and had the minimum, same minimum standards, and that individual that lives in Vernon but volunteers with Summit met that criteria and the fire chief certified that, then I would be open, the township would be open to some sort of agreement that, you know, inter cooperation. Maybe, maybe it's not 100%. Maybe we say, all right, we'll recognize this at 75%, you know, if you recognize the guy that lives in Summit, the volunteers with Vernon Central vice versa so but that just hasn't happened yet because none of the neighboring municipalities have anything on the books yet i think greenwood didn't greenwood also adopt something i haven't heard Could dennis maybe they're considered they, they're, i know the greenwood's considered okay. but i don't think as far as i know i think cochran and borough recently passed it yes um, oh you did yeah cochran and borough has we have and i don't I don't know if anybody else has, but I know there's several that are considering it. And so once once more of our neighboring municipalities, but that's something that I think each individual municipality is going to have to look at their surrounding municipalities and see what sort of you know inter cooperation they want to have and how that works. Because there is, unfortunately, if they live in your township but they volunteer somewhere else, they are helping your township. But then to what extent? You know, the, they're not going out on. The mundane tree down lift assist calls they're only helping you guys they're helping the municipality on the large scale incidents so maybe you don't reward them to the same level that you do you know the local but at the end of the day they would qualify for the county and that's going to be probably the bigger portion regardless so at least you're helping them out there and that doesn't cost you anything the requirement would go to the fire department to keep track of yes it would be them doing the paperwork yes so the fire chief gives me a list um, of who meets the criteria with you know he, sh he gives me the reports and stuff that you know show that so it's not just hey these five guys did it you know I get some additional paperwork that shows that and then we give the individual then has to apply it's not just a guarantee they actually have to come in and fill out some paperwork we give them a certificate that the township secretary puts the seal on so that way even though right now it's kind of redundant because it's not going anywhere and we keep copies of that but that way in the future they would take that certificate to the county to present that is their justification to get the can we put ron on the spot and ask you about profit central just because the township and the county but then also the school district may play a part or maybe not well, I, I do like the idea, um, and that's why I had asked, you know, about presentation. But I think what you need to do is wait till you have all the municipalities yeah. on board from what you're just saying there. Uh, because if we say it, it, it's not going to go very far if only Cochran and, and Vernon is on board right now. So, um, yeah, yeah I, I think, yeah, once the counties bought into it and everything, would be a good time then for doing the presentation to the school board. Anything else? Um, 
I guess like in the county is looking at their digital radios, um, making that conversion. Uh, we're in the process of that. So we talked about that at the fire commission. I can't didn't go into too much detail. A lot of it's above my head, so I won't pretend that I know. Um, let's see what else. Do you got anything else from the fire commission? The other thing we're looking at is we have um, some departments in the county that are saying that they are qualified to do certain aspects of the rescue stuff and, and firefighting and their manpower is low, but I don't think their governments know about it. So we have one department that they're having some issues with. So we're trying to figure out how the fire commission can help this department out to get through their low manpowers and having trouble with equipment. So that's one of the things the fire commission is working with, with the uh, county commissioners also. <clears throat> to see if we need to talk to the municipality. Because you all know your municipality is responsible for fire and rescue in your area. So if something's happening in your department, the municipality actually overrides that. So we need to maybe get in with that municipality and help them out a little bit. Um, other than that, the uh, fire relief tax, the, the tax uh, thing, uh, we've been working with Joe and John and Mike and Donnie about that in Westmead Township. I think they're getting pretty close. but. Uh, we have come up with some guidelines with ours. We've got to talk with these guys again to see what Westmead wants to do for tracking. And Westmead too has 23 members on the roster and I probably have four people that will <coughs> take advantage of the tax in Westmead Township. With Woodcock, if we can get them on board, I would have three in my department that live in Woodcock Township. I have five that live in Woodcock, but a couple don't meet the criteria. Know, things like that just to kind of give you a number to work on if we can get with talk to come on come on board too. So okay, that's where we stand at, at Westmead number two. All right. Anything else on that before we move on? All right. Next on the agenda is Klein Energy Service. We have Josh Klein here. Hello and thank you for your time today. I'm Josh Klein, owner of Klein Energy Services. Uh, we're from Franklin, PA, and we offer all kinds of right-of-way tree trimming and vegetation control services. So we have done some work for Sugar Creek Borough, and uh, there's some other municipalities in the area uh, that we are looking at some tree trimming work. Of course, there's a benefit to the integrity of the road by letting the sun come in in the wintertime um, with the snow and ice and also moisture uh, the quicker the road dries the the quicker you eliminate the possibility of water coming in under the pavement and uh, creating damage in that way so we're local jeremy and i are both here be happy to talk to anybody that would be interested in uh, seeing about having some of those services done in your municipality so after the meeting we'll be back here with some cards and be happy to talk to people thank you thanks all right, next up, we got the uh, COG Tire event presentations. Julie, you handle all that? Yeah, Brenda, <clears throat> Brenda Schmidt is also on the tire committee. So is Renee, Terry Simonette, <clears throat> and myself. Um, and then also Charlie Bauer from Cambridge Township. Um, I was thinking Brenda was going to do this, but I'll pinch hit in the, in the meantime. If she shows up, then we'll put her on the spot. But um, that being said, there was a PowerPoint attached to the email and, and to the online, so it's available if anybody wants to print it out or take a look at it. A lot of it is the same things we do. This is our eighth, was our eighth event, so we have a lot of the same reasons why we do it. Some of the things are common sense, trying to clean up the environment. Basically, the main important parts were the Crawford Heritage Foundation, provided a $1,500 grant, um, then we were paid by the Solid Waste Authority $774.50 that paid for funding of the event. People also paid $2 a tire 
for those who came, that's the charge we have for the tires, which turned out to be $993. So we had a total of $3,267.50 for total revenue. The expenses out were for the tire hauler, insurance, um, we provided the uh, Meadville Auxiliary Police, they were a big help. Um, we had to provide some refreshments and then we had expenses for uh, Woodcock's time and West Mead's time, some of it just for our road department for the use of the equipment and everything. So that's where total revenue come in, came in and was paid out. So we don't make any money on this event, we never have. It's been a, just to offset it, but we've been very fortunate. I want to thank Christian and the Crawford Heritage Foundation. They've provided funding for a number of years. And then we used to get DEP funding, but now we don't. So it comes out of the Crawford County Solid Waste Authority. We had uh, 550 tires this time, which was a lot less than what we normally have. So we did not fill the truck in the time we were there which is one reason that honestly the tire committee has talked and met. We don't feel that this is a good project to continue any longer. We've done it for eight years. In the very beginning, there was no tire event. So um, it was a good thing, a good project to start to get some of these removed. So that being said, now that there are certain haulers that are in the local area that people can take their things to, Cambridge Tire is a good example. Um, there's a couple others that have come on board now, the HP Diesel, um, Get Her Done is another one, and people make use of tires, getting rid of tires at their cleanup day. A lot of townships do that as a benefit to their residents. So instead of the cog having to kind of facilitate this spend money for one day insurance policies things of that nature the tire event the tire committee event the tire committee has thought that we should maybe focus some things elsewhere we have you can see we've provided um, the amount of tires removed from the environment and the costs and you know there's a couple of graphs in this um, presentation so that's our recommendation. And I can't say enough, we've got to thank all the volunteers that have helped, um, unless there's a need, you know, it could always change. But I, I think um, we've spent a lot of time and effort and a lot of volunteer hours, and it's just not a really good use of government funds any longer, in my opinion. And I think most of the tire committee feels the same way. But I'll let Renee speak. Maybe you have some other thoughts. Um, but I can't say thank you enough for the volunteers, because I'll tell you, over the years in some of the pictures, you see a lot of people stepped up. I mean, we had commissioners, um, elected officials. Uh, Bill, you were there for your number of years. You know, we've had a lot of help and a lot of people that um, really stepped up to help clean up the environment. So it's a, it was a good, a good event. Anything, Renee? There. Um, just, you know, back when we started, the, the road used to be lined with vehicles, you oh. know, and, and it dropped off so much this time that it was just, um, it was, it's good to end it now. I think we've got almost 10,000 tires. When you think about it, 10,000 tires that were out of the environment in just our county alone. I think that says a lot. And, and that's just what the ones we, we counted. There, those first couple of years, we did, we had tire, there were people everywhere. We had no, we were lucky if we, if we had, a, yeah, we had to turn them away and we had no idea. We were trying to count, but it was free. And um, a lot of people took advantage of the nice free event. <laughs> well, thank you, Jill. I just noticed that, like, when you, you donated the, the water and snacks. So. Well, <laughs> I well, think it that. Some of it, very low, but we paid, I uh, we got paid back. So, yeah. Oh, did it say I donated it? Well, yeah, you're on the list. I yeah. was like, well, you thanked everybody else. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. oh, you were thanking me. Okay. Thinking, well, yeah. thank you. <laughs> well, did you guys think, because it's such a cool event that I was wondering if there's something else we could do. Like, were you like, you know, now we have, is there anything else that we could take on? Because it's just kind of a cool thing that, you know, it's like, 
the call coming together. I don't know. Any thoughts? <laughs> I know um, Brenda and I talked, and I wish yeah. she she had um, some other thoughts too, based on the Crawford County Solid Waste Report. She was going to talk today about them, but she's on a, on unable to be here I guess but that being said we do have some other thoughts and the committee because we have the subcommittees they'll maybe come up with some other things we did talk about different things um, paper shredding um, you know collection of a lot of people even with recyclables like the outlying municipalities may not have garbage service or things are being burnt so maybe in conjunction with the solid waste authority yeah. there may be some other alternatives and if anybody has any thoughts we certainly you know electronics okay yeah, that's a really good one. Oh yeah and that was one of them i forgot that was the biggest one uh, yeah that would yeah, i would yeah. have thought that would have been the first one that would have come yeah. up <laughs> and here i am pulling everything else but that's why i am and brenda because they do some of these household hazardous waste events that would play into <clears throat> that exactly so um yeah yeah that would be that's okay yeah but i think um, we've had a lot of help in this event over the years and it's been something that was a good thing just sometimes things times have come that you know there's other ways to responsibly get rid of tires in the environment yeah. Any other business for today? I don't see any. The next meeting is January 16th, 2025, and it'll be at the West Main Township building. And I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Meeting adjourned.